Hi there, we have officially entered Cancer astrological season. Uh, welcome. And um, I want to talk today about four crystals that can really help to support and regulate uh, strong Cancer energy, whether it's your sun sign or you just have it in other placements in your chart. And um, of course, there's lots of crystals that can benefit can't people with cancer energy, but these are the four I'm gonna focus on today. And, um, you know, I'm not gonna go really into detail about cancer as a astrological sign, but generally speaking, um, you know, it's a water sign and they tend to be creative and, um, you know, loving and compassionate, but there's also a tendency for strong emotions and emotional swings and mood swings. Um, that can sometimes, you know, be kind of overbearing for cancer energy. So the first crystal that I want to talk about today is carnelian. Carnelian can range in color from reds to orange. This one's a little more on the orange side. And carnelian uh, is really great for the bottom two chakras, so the, um, the root and the sacral. And so it's stabilizing, it's grounding, it's helping you find your roots. And when you have a lot of water energy, that can be really beneficial. And also when you tend to have mood swings, uh, this can help to regulate that and help to kind of bring that down, keep you a little more even. It's also a great crystal for creativity, getting into the creative flow in life. Second one I wanna talk about is Moonstone. Moonstone is a great crystal for just being a little more go with the flow. So, um, like the moon goes through phases. Of course, our lives go through phases. Everything goes through phases. And if we learn how to adapt to that and be more open to shifts and changes in our lives without judgment, then we can live a little more peacefully and a little more harmoniously. So this one can help with that a lot. Moonstone is also a great crystal for intuition. It's good for um, just emotional balance. So regulating emotions, helping again to kind of get a little, if you get those big highs and lows, it can kind of help to even you out just a little bit and good for helping with really clear communication of what you want and what you need. Next up, I have citrine here and citrine is a crystal of abundance and manifestation and prosperity. So it's, of course, everyone can use that, but drawing a little more of that into your life. And it also helps to boost the solar plexus chakra. So um, it's gonna be really good for enhancing self-esteem, self-worth, as well as motivation and willpower to you know move forward for goals and dreams, which then of course comes back to bringing more prosperity and abundance into your life. And last, I have rose quartz. So because Cancer is again known for being very loving and compassionate, this one will just help to enhance that. More open in the heart space, more loving towards others, but most importantly, to be more loving towards yourself. So it reminds you of course that it's, you know, love isn't just about what you give out into the world, it's also about what you can give back to yourself and what you're open to receive. So having a nice open heart space, good for compassion and gratitude, helps to uh, regulate conflict in your life. So if you have conflicting energy with somebody who you have to interact with on a daily basis, rose quartz can help to um, eliminate that a little bit. So I made a bracelet with these four crystals. You can see here that I'm wearing I have it available in my shop. Uh, it's my Etsy shop. And if you go to my website at jamierye.com and hit the shop link, you can get there to purchase it. I'll put the link in the in my bio as well. And um, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something. I'd love to hear comments or questions below. And I hope that you have a lovely cancer season.